the German Aerospace Center DLR in Bremen, research in space for life on Earth. We must observe and understand our Earth in order to protect it. We can do this by investigating it and its cosmic vicinity from space. The design process for the spacecraft of the future, rockets or habitats for the Moon and Mars, takes place at the Institute of Space Systems. Here, engineers from a range of disciplines work closely together to develop the newest space systems concepts. The Moon is our closest neighbour. It has the potential to reveal insights regarding the origin of the Earth and is a springboard into space. Landing independently and precisely is a major technological challenge. It's being tested at DLR in Bremen. Air cushion vehicles are used in a laboratory to simulate the behavior of spacecraft in a zero gravity environment. Ground tests of entire formations of satellites, as well as docking and grasping, can be carried out in this way. Rockets are fueled by cryogenic liquefied gases, liquid hydrogen, for example, that's been cooled down to minus 253 degrees Celsius. The cryo laboratory is the place where scientists investigate how these propellants behave at extreme temperatures in rocket propellant tanks. In space, the rotation of spacecraft must be controlled. In order to do this in a precise way, sensors need to be calibrated on the ground. Engineers are using state-of-the-art development procedures to resolve this. A structure unfolds that could create an opportunity to put satellites into accelerated deorbiting. A research greenhouse has been developed in Bremen to grow cucumbers and tomatoes. Fresh vegetables will be needed in future outposts on the Moon and on Mars. Plant growth is being monitored in the inhospitable environment of Antarctica. The world's oceans are vital transportation routes which are increasingly being used as a location for generating wind energy. Forecasting storms and the drift of oil slicks are important maritime safety tasks. These jobs can best be done from space. Satellites are also built and tested after they're designed in Bremen as seen here on this vibration table. Space conditions can be simulated at DLR Bremen in order to test attitude control. Here, scientists are testing an attitude control system for a prototype satellite. Researchers from Bremen use the Mount Etna volcano to simulate the surface of the Moon. Precise landing on other celestial bodies is realistically recreated using a test bed made of replicated planetary soil at DLR in Bremen. Robotic controls are used to simulate different degrees of gravitational pull. A space probe developed in Bremen is en route to an asteroid. It was developed, manufactured and tested at the centre before its launch into space. The Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2 releases the mascot, mobile asteroid surface scout, Lander. After landing, a swinging robotic arm will enable it to move.
young researchers enjoy experimenting. Starting in the third grade, the DLR School Lab shows youngsters what space research is all about. Depending on their age, junior scientists can find hands-on experiments to do or state-of-the-art research equipment to use. This is how these young visitors can learn today about the fascinating research worlds of tomorrow. Space Research for Life on Earth at DLR in Bremen. <laughs>